Okay, so hey guys, uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple um, fishing system, I guess you'd call it. Um, I've already created mine, but I'll go back through it again with you. Um, what in first thing you need to do is go into your database and free up some spaces by changing the maximum. And you need to create a bait a rod, um, as many fish as you like and maybe like a booby prize, like a boot as I have. Um, so I've got a shark, a marlin, a tuna, a salmon, a boot, rod and bait. Those are the items you're going to need. Um, for bait, I don't know if you can see that, I hope you can. You just need to call it bait. Um, any icon will do, I'll just give it a little sack. Um, description bag of bait used for catching fish, scope, none, occasion, never, none, none, empty, none, I've done the prices 50, it's really up to you, consumable, none, and all that. Um, as with the fish, you're given a name, I, I've made my own icon, as you can see there's a little fish. Description, scope, well, pretty much the same as the bait, just with the different price and it's pretty much the same all the way through so once you've got all your items you need to um, create an event I'll just show you what we're going to make this is it okay so um, you want to start the event and say something like start fishing with some choices yes or no and then you need um, a conditional branch they are there and you need to make sure that they have all the items necessary so it's on page 4 item we're going to need a rod and then in else you can say you don't have a rod okay and then you need to create another insert um, conditional branch each four item and this time you need to make sure they have enough bait if they don't same again you don't have any bait so go buy some fool um then really you need to create um a random variable that's here it needs to be set to random i've called mine fishing as you can see um i need one to seven or as many as you would like depending on how many fish you have and how often you want to be able to catch them. So, now you need another conditional branch and it needs to be if if the fishing is equal to, that's if the variable for fishing is equal to one then you're going to catch a fish. Yay! Um, so you need to change items Oop. add one of your fish this, and this time it's going to be shark for me change items again because this time you have used one of your bait so it's decrease one and you can add a little text saying you caught a shark in a river for some reason I don't know why and, um, and there you go and then it's just a case of doing conditional branches all the way down until you have done all of them and this is what it should look like so you've got conditional branch for fishing one and then if you and then under else you got for fishing two you caught a marlin and then for fishing three and then for four and then for five and then for five five can be a little bit different because you've done the same for all the way down and then for for five, I'll show you. So instead of 
having um instead of having e equal to five Oh, sorry, I'm getting mixed up. It's um, after five, you can have you didn't catch anything, so you have the same all the way down, and then for f so it's like for six and seven, you don't catch anything. If that makes sense, I hope it does. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, you might want to create a little old man like I have here to test it. He gives you free bait and free rod. How nice of him! So I'll show you how it works. Oh, I forgot to tell you, um, I've created this, um, it's like a little sparkle in the water, it's just to show people where fishing spots are, so in my game I'm going to have this old man here in, he's going to be explaining how to fish and how to spot where to fish and things needed to fish, like a little tutorial within my game, so um, yeah, other than having one of these, I don't really know how you're going to make fishing spots other than having little piers or whatever. I don't know. It's really up to you. Anyway, there you go. Start fishing. Yep. I need a rod to fish. Yep. I've talked to the old guy. He gives me free one. Start fishing. Yep. Wait, wait, wait. I got a tuna. Yay. Uh, one thing I did forget to tell you is uh, you need to before your conditional branch starts, um, make sure it waits like 60 frames so you don't catch fish instantly because then people will just keep pressing the water really quick and catch lots of fish. Sell them all, it'll be too easy. So you need to put a wait. I'll, um, I'll upload the script onto my website anyway and there'll be a link in the um, description of this video. So I hope this has helped. I might have gone through it too fast. Um, if you have any problems, just leave me a comment, and I'm sure I'll get back to you. And thanks for watching. Happy fishing.